All right, hello and welcome everyone. So we will try to finish it off uh, tonight. See if we can do that. So we are just going to be speeding up a lot of uh, things now and then just wait. No commissions. We should be fine with the money we have, hopefully. So uh, right now we need to wait till uh, 7. 9 hours pretty much. So I'm just going to be fast traveling back and forth. Until uh, the show will start. Fireside meeting. Okay. Right, well, uh, let's go for the fireside meeting. That we definitely don't want to miss. Welcome to this fireside meeting, everyone. Wow, <laughs> quite a turnout. Now, I hardly need to mention all the magnificent progress our town has made in recent days. One need only take a short look around. Water flows into the town from the north. A forest of trees surrounds and protects us from sandstorms. And Sandrock itself has become a bastion of life. The oasis we always knew it could be. On behalf of everyone who made this happen, our builders, our researchers in the moisture farm, and you too, the citizens who encouraged us all to be the best we could be. I welcome you to a new age for Sandrock. Can I get a yeehaw? Never thought I'd see the day. To a better Sandrock. We love you, Trudy! I tend to find happy endings a bit tiring, but... Oh, just this one I'll let loose. Yee-haw! We the best! We did it! Yeah, we did it. I say we make Trudy fair for life. All hail the new Sand Rock Order! They tried to knock us down, but we never gave up. <laughs> oh, we did okay. We did it, everyone. With that said, the next quinquennial Free Cities Alliance Summit is coming up. Usually, it's hosted by Atara or Highwind. But this time, I have volunteered Sandrock to host. And the council has accepted. It was always Martel's dream to share this beautiful oasis with her fellow man. That dream was taken from her by greed. But we have restored it with indomitability and telesis. Other than the leaders of the Free Cities, I also propose that we invite any and all from across the Free Cities to come and see what we have done during the summit. To see the jewel of the Eufala as it once was. The stuff of legend, thought to be washed away by the sands of time. Now here, as real as you and me. Oh shit. Rambo is, uh... Last time we had so many folks interested in the town. Uh, are all the free cities leaders coming? Uh, I agree. Let's invite everyone. Thank you for your support. Having a legend like you on my side gives me great confidence. That's right. What's the point of doing anything if you can't even brag about it? Them city slickers still think we're all a bunch of backwater sand billies. How many lands did y'all greenify? How many sandstorms y'all eradicated? How many licks did it take to get to the top of the center of a sand roll? Good yes. Save it for the reception. I want everyone to invite everyone they know, anyone who might be interested in seeing our new sand rock, whether it be family, friends, or business partners. It's gonna be a big celebration. 
Any other questions or objections? Should we pal back our personalities again? You know what? No, not at all. Going forward, I want us to be us. If someone doesn't want to be here because of who we are, well then, that's their loss. And Owen, as you suggested, I believe the Blue Moon will be as good a place as any to hold a banquet. The summit will take place over the course of a few days. And, well, I'll let you know the schedule when I do. Ooh, I'll get those bowls sparkling. Till then, everyone just relax. Maybe put a new flower or two in your garden if you get the time. Every little bit helps. Can do. Builders, perhaps some last minute preparations may find their way onto the commission board. But I'm sure it's nothing you and the guild can't handle. Rest easy, Mayor. Our builders are the best around. Good. I'll inform everyone of the exact date once it's set in stone. With that, I think we can call this meeting to an end. I'd like, if I may, to conclude with a familiar phrase. One that has taken on new meaning in this new age of Sandrock history. For all we've been through, can we please just have one more... Conserve water! Oh, thank you. Oh, well, it's nice that Rambo shows up to the meeting. Let's go, Meryl. We're done here. Actually, well, we are not actually done here, so there will be more commissions, but... Hmm. I think I will do the commissions related to the actual quests or event that is going to take place. But we don't need to do uh, the commissions uh, for anything else, really. There is no way someone can catch up with us. And we are not going to do it the third year. We're gonna be done before that. Thank you everyone for joining us in the very first Desert Take Fashion Show. For now, Sandrock was seen as a land for breath of art, okay. a barren wasteland of desperate utility. Then, a young man had a dream, a vision. Now that man's vision has come to life, breathed new life into this town. Sandrock now has become a metropolis of bohemian society. Although we may be situated in a dry, lifeless desert, it does not mean our fashion must be dry and lifeless. So today, we raise the curtain on our new style, Desert Heat. The Desert Heat Fashion Show will take place over two days, and today's theme will be Starlight. It is inspired by the majestic stars of the desert night, and with this, the stars come to Sandrock. Welcome our wonderful models to the stage. I hope that I'm not one of them. Right? No, I'm not. Oh, looking fly. They even managed to get Owen and Logan. Whoa. Wait, did they make a fashion show with everyone? Does that mean even us? Did X get a suit? I don't think he did. Enjoyed our stars lighting up the stage. That was our Starlight Collection. If you wish to buy them, you can talk to me for orders. Everyone is welcome. I can assure you we will tailor for your needs. If you're interested, don't hesitate. Of course, we want to make everything according to taste. What is fashion without personality? Any changes can be requested, and we're happy to oblige. We will have a complete design document available soon. Uh -huh. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., we will see the Summer Heat Swimwear Series. I hope you can all show your beautiful faces. The Summer Heat swim Swimwear? In the winter? It's like a dream come true. Ernest was right. 
I really just needed to put my mind to it. Well, that's good and all, but uh, how do I order? to our Nah, we're gonna look ridiculous. Well we cannot order anything. We need to wait. We need to wait anyway for tomorrow. So that means we're done for tonight. It's not many days left uh, now, actually. No, we're in the final week. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, I, I remember this. We were attending to that last year. Hey, they're all walking around in this stuff. What do you think? Beautiful, right? Catch you later! We could plan out some other activities once you are done with your... I really think Pablo has an astute sense of color composition. His designs are really remarkable. See ya. news let's get over to city hall i'll explain more there again fair enough hello hello everyone she's excited you're here welcome indeed this will be our guild's finest hour grace uh, um, tell them what you told me with pleasure madam mayor i must confess I've been keeping something from you all since I got back. <laughs> so unlike me, right? <clears throat> uh, before my retirement, I was fortunate enough to be able to brush shoulders with some of the higher-ups. One conversation led to another, and eventually, the topic of the Alliance's next defense commission came up. Long story short, they want Sandrock to build the next Alliance airship. Airship? The legendary six-star commission. Ooh, but wait, an airship? I thought the Alliance usually used Tall Sky and Vega 5 workshops to build their planes and airships. I'm afraid they'll be of no use this time, as this airship will be built like no other. You see, back during the defense of Sandrock, while the Builder and the Civil Corps were down in the thick of it, I wasn't just up on that Duval ship playing hide and seek. I managed to nab a copy of their newest Victor class airship plans. I really have to say though, I am disappointed. Are you kidding me? You're not impressed? Duvos Engineering is known for its frightening advancements. Frightening indeed. Have you seen Swaring designs in the engine room? And granted, some of it is cutting edge, but based on what you told me the other day, Grace, I'd just been hoping it'd be a bit more advanced. Gee, Director, sorry my stolen secret plans from behind enemy lines aren't good enough for you. Guess you'll just have to design your own airship. Hmm. No, that won't be necessary. I can simply make some adjustments. 
Your performance has been quite adequate. Thank you, Miss Grace. You're welcome. Um, quick question. Yeah, so you all called me here to tell me you want to build a warship? Uh, I mean, well, uh, how can I put this? I think there might be a little bit of scripture on almost every page that says we shouldn't do that. So, yeah. Yeah, well, why is Burgess there? Why is Seeker? That brings me to my next point. I don't want to see a Dufos inspired warship floating around our fair city either. I've called upon our horticultural specialist to help install this airship with some greenification technology. We're going to make it our own, inside and out. You can count on us, Mayor. I'll bet we could use the weapon tech to just shoot algae and seeds instead. Have it fly over new planting grounds? Ooh, I like the sound of that. We can go 50-50 on the cannons. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Let's talk logistics. Director, take it away. Indeed. The first thing we'll need is a couple of the powerful engines from the Starship Moons. Obviously not the ones on the Olympia, as they were destroyed. But I've seen a few other, smaller ones on my expeditions there. At the time, I opted against procuring them as I'm not strong. Such a procurement might easily be accomplished by someone powerful like the Builder, though. I'll tell you about it later. Once I have the engines in hand, I will spend a short time studying them and the Dufo's design, where Sleepyhead and myself will make engineering tweaks for them to be modded into a better ship. I forgot to ask, how did you get Mint here on such short notice? Space Case here sent me a telegram saying, Emergency, come, now, without any context. Since I was invited to the summit celebration anyway, I thought I'd come early. I'd wanted to elaborate more in the telegram, but it would have taken too long to type it out. It was better to explain in person. Besides, I really do need your help. You're the best engineer I know. Oh. Um, no worries, everyone. I'm here now. Glad to be of service. Yes, yes, back to the plan. I want to emphasize that an airship is considered the pinnacle of our current scientific and engineering capability. So suffice to say, it'll be a massive undertaking for everyone involved. The main components will be the airship itself, the area spray requested by botanists, and the construction pad. We'll need the construction pad first before the airship can be assembled. How will you like to divide the labor, Commissioner? Hmm, I think we'll keep feeding the hot hands. Builder will uh, build the airship, and me and can handle the spray. The other builders around Sandrock, myself included, will complete the construction pad first. You got it. Just need a diagram. On it. And I suppose Miss Heidi will be designing the pad? Already on the drawing board. We've become quite the team, haven't we? Well, look at us. One of the biggest projects in the free cities just dropped into our laps, and we're ready to dive right into it. I can attest, even in Doll Sky, you'd be hard pressed to assemble a team as capable as this. While we're all here like this, I'd just like to say, I've never been more proud to be a Sandrocker than right now. It's been an honor, but let's save our celebrations for the party. If we work quickly, the airship will be ready in time to take our guests on its maiden voyage. Sounds doable. Well, uh, how many days is that? I calculate a high probability of success. Well, how long will that be? I think we can do it. We can totally do it. I have faith in everyone. Me too! No surprise. It'll be the Sand Rock Commerce Guild's finest hour. I'd say it's a done deal too, right? <laughs> I kind of had plans this week. Uh, I'm so tempted just to a playthrough of just being in full denial and uh, just take care by myself. But that will be a long one, so uh, yeah, we can do it. Alright then, I think that about settles it. Let's get to it. So, about the engines, they're in the Starship Abandoned Moons. Some are completely buried, so I had no chance of getting them out. Once you have them, bring them to me and sleep yet, and I'll get to work. Thanks. It's like that. Truly. Hello. You look well today. I actually came by to ask a, a favor. <laughs> As you're aware, we're planning for the Alliance Summit. I've already gone over the government invitation list, but 
I was wondering if you wouldn't mind helping me get a head count for invitations from people around town. I feel like if I ask everyone, it, it's a little too official. Most folks would be a bit more comfortable if you handled the survey. Do you mind? Uh, sure. Thank you. And, well, I must have some ulterior motives. I don't believe anyone can resist your charm. Um, just run around and ask whoever comes to mind. And then check in when you have anything to report. Alright, there we go. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. And you? Why do I need to speak to one of these? Oh, wait, yeah, okay, we need to talk to them like this. So let's begin with you. Oi. Okay, we cannot talk to any of them. It's an airship. What's the deadline on that airship? Oh no. Uh, you will need to go to the 11 layer of the ruins to be sure. Hmm. But we have a. Well, well, we should be fine. Hey there. Oh, but who am I inviting to the party? Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't send an invite over to Albert and Mint and Portia. They helped us on our way up. We gotta show them where we made it to now. And who knows? They might have ideas for where to go next. But why would you do that? Mint is already here and Albert is a creep. Staying good with our friends and Portia is a must. They're a close neighbor. And there've got to be tons of ways we can help each other out now that the road is done. Uh, there was someone you mentioned before. Oh, you're talking about Master Verna. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said it hadn't crossed my mind. I did want to ask Master Verna to come see what all we've done here, but that'd be kind of petty, wouldn't it? I didn't come back here just to prove something to an old teacher. I came here because I knew it was the right thing to do. Uh, I, I support, support whatever you want to do. Hey, appreciate you. Hmm, ah to heck with it. Yeah, let's put her on the list. Worst thing she can do is ignore us. Or, well, show up and make a scene. But I can handle that. Yeah, there are a lot of things that could go right with this. Master does have major connections in Atara. If she has fun out here, well, who knows? Hmm, thanks for spitballing with me. Go ahead and put her on the list. Fair enough. Uh, Wait, where's Merle? Oh yeah, oh, I forgot. Merle is uh, back home. There you are. So let's go and grab everybody's uh, invitation. Uh, then we have the fashion show. We might have time to do the ruin diving. Oh, hey! I just ran into the mayor. You're going around asking about invites, yeah? Ooh, you're asking me now too? Hmm, well... I'd invite my folks, but they're in Seaside. Like, what? I mean, I always said they should travel, but I met Portia, or here, the moment I leave and they head for Seaside. That's like a thousand leagues the opposite way. So you have no one to invite. Hey, you should invite your folks. Oh no. They're kind of like my second pair of parents, so you'd be doing everyone a favor. <laughs> uh, how, how can I forget? Hey, don't sweat it. You've been through a lot lately. Nobody would hold it against you. Yeah, tell truths your rents are going on the list. Oh, and tell your mom to cook those pork chops I like. I know this isn't a potluck. Who cares? So we're gonna invite our parents? Oh, well, shit. First, our in-laws and our parents are going here. Wait, are there are models for my parents even? Ah, oh, what a pleasant surprise. Have you come to celebrate with me? Celebrate? Yes. It was just yesterday that five the stairs and the ceramic gate reached a combined profit of 100,000 goals. No. Isn't that amazing? I never really thought we'd make it this far. But with wonderful friends like you, 
sure enough, here we are. Uh, well, I actually came about something else, but uh, no, well, congratulations, you did, you did great. Thank you, thank you. I've been wearing this smile ever since we crunched the numbers. I'm even smiling in my sleep. And every moment I'm here at the store as well, which has been good. Customers always appreciate a nice smile coming their way. Oh, that's right, the big summit. Invitations? Wow. I guess I gotten so caught up with the business it all just slipped my mind. Who to invite? Hmm. Well, I'm afraid I can't really think of anyone. Everyone back home is pretty tied up at the moment. Uh, well, uh, any business partners? Hmm. Does anyone fit that particular description? Like Musa? Oh, how could I forget? We should invite Mr. Musa. I had meant to write him a letter, uh, thank him, tell him how we're doing, but, um, well, I guess I kept hearing this little voice in my head like, your small cabbages, Albio. Musa isn't going to want to hear about any cabbages. But, 100,000, that's a pretty big milestone, right? Certainly Sebastian's cabbage money. You'll want to hear about that, right? Yes, if you would, please add Musa's name to the guest list. Of course, he might be busy, but you never know. Alright, so we have him. I mean, surely this must be the final missions in the game. I remember the final mission in Porsche was to build a hot air balloon. Which was quite a heavy build. This must be the equivalent of that. go down to the 11 layer. I think that's the final layer in the ruins. We are on like 8 or something. Ah, invitations for our big sand rock open house or what was it we're calling it? Summit celebration? Well, sure. Sand rock has been an integral part of my career, if nothing else. I'd love to help make this event better in any way I can. I could invite the folks, but... This really is developing into more of a meet and greet, businessy type events, isn't it? There are my friends at Atara Times, and also all the people who are always writing in to ask how Sandrock is doing. We've got quite a following over there now, in case you didn't know. I've got it! I'll ask my sister to come visit and make an appearance. There's very little I can think of that would garner more attention for our event, other than the leaders meeting and having the world renowned Luna on the guest list. You have a sister? Maybe I can even convince her to perform. Perform? It's settled then. I'll telegraph her immediately. Please put her name on the guest list. Thank you. All right. Uh, where to? We have something. Okay, only two they left now. Wait, uh, is that? Am I done? Wow, quite the guest list. Do you think they're all really going to show up? I ended up doing a bit of poking around myself. Cooper asked me to find his old jam band he played with in Walnut Groove 20 years ago. But the only clue he gave me to contact them was, they're married to the sea now. So they're dead. Jensen asked me to find Dylan, the father of modern trains. But with the caveat that he'd only appear if we make the party a five train minimum. So, that's out. In any case, glad you had more luck than me. I'll put all these names on the list. Expect your own invite soon as well. Okay, now that's done. So, uh, we have 10 hours. Uh, wait for opening day, that's in like two days. That's tonight. How do I still buy that stuff? I need to go and talk to him. And we should check the board and see if we have any free uh, cities commissions. I think I did. No. I don't think I did. Mm. 
Okay, then we need to go inside uh, the mine then. Oh, oh yeah, the, the board. And, and the mail. It looks kind of full. Oh. Well, okay. Um, these must be... Uh, yeah, summer preparations. These we want to do. Because they, I think, they add to the... To the place. An office chair? Do we need that? Okay. We also have this one, which I kind of want to do as well. But the rest of these, no. Is that also? Yeah, it is. And that? That too. That was a bunch of commissions. That was that's it, okay. Let's see if we can get these going. Let's just hide that. So we need the copper loudspeaker, four of them. Down. And then we need seven copper wire. If we're lucky, we have everything. That's done. Now we just need to wait for that. Oh, we can finish that tomorrow. What's the time on these? A week. Well, then we have plenty of time. And this the stage backdrop. We need seven uh, boards. Okay, not 99. Like that. Office chair. We need a hardwood stick. I'm all out of that. I need two of that. But I think, yeah, it's two each. So four of them. that and uh, it needed basic leather well i think i can make that otherwise i'm just gonna go and buy that says we need five so that's done we're gonna do the free city commission last and then this one this one we can make straight away that's done and uh, this one we can also make straight away Okay, nice. Now for this one though. So filtration core, two of them. Do we do I have that? Okay, we do. I need four copper pipes. And we need four iron plates. That's it. That, I think that was it. Yeah. That's it. So let's go. Um, let's get up to the town square again. There's no rush for any of that. We can uh, do them tomorrow even. But we should make sure we have an ad in the newspaper first. Blended. Now let's head over to uh, the ruins. So we need to get to layer 11. And we have 8 hours to do uh, some diving. Oh, we're not going inside. Okay, so we are on 9. We need to get to 11. That will not be too hard, really. That would be kind of easy. Let's just get inside. See how the drill is. I cannot remember how good the drill was in uh, Porsche. 
I just remember it was very relaxing. Well, I, I, I guess I could just uh, dig through all of this and get some XP. But no, I think we should only dig like that in uh, the final layer. Where's the exit? This will be uh, level 10. Let's just run through it. Mysterious room, sure. Is that it? Okay, that that that, that was actually kind of weak. Slayer. Should be a chest. Or not. This is it. So here we have every single ore in the game, even. Nice. And uh, I think I saw a engineer over there. That's one. And that's the last one. Done. How much do we need to level up actually? Well, I could just burn all my stamina in here. Just by going around in a circle. Okay, never mind. We cannot go any further down. much we got in total but it must be around 30,000 yeah 
Yeah, something like that. One more lap in there and we will level up. If we could get to level 55 before finishing the game, that would be great. Then we can use the final armor that we have in our inventory. And I think we get another piece from... Or maybe not. No. I might even have the full set on me. Now when I think about it. and I will start our analysis right away. Oh, by the way, it seems everyone in town has taken great interest in this project. It is one of the largest things ever built by mankind in our current era, so I kind of, as they say, get it. Many members of our community insist they want to help. Therefore, I have told them that there is no harm in procuring materials for a large project. I cannot, however, speak to the value of set materials. Nevertheless, it may be worthwhile to speak with people around town. Good luck! I'll try to get these engines and a diagram for the airship to you as soon as possible. Alright. Well, we have a lot of materials. I don't think I need to go around and talk to others about it. If it uh, tells me to, I will do it. But if it doesn't, then we will just forget about it. Let's go and see how we are doing here. We have um, two hours. Two hours before we need to go to the fashion show. Let's grab these. And uh, now we can finish off a lot of stuff here. So they want a full stage, basically. We should have that here. Assemble one, and then a backdrop. Assemble one, and then uh, we needed. Uh, I think we needed this one. I need to check that. Is it that one we needed? Yeah, this that one we needed. Yeah, that's it. That's everything. So now we need to wait 25 seconds. That one. I can maybe upgrade all of it if we am lucky. We could plan out some other activities once uh, let's see, these are easy to upgrade. What? That one I cannot upgrade. Unless I have. Uh, no. Then I will uh, not upgrade that. But this one I wanted to upgrade. Ah, oh, 
Thank you. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way they're gonna be catching up with us. No way. It's just a few days left of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Right. Now we just need to wait gonna be happening here in 10 seconds wow it looks like we had even more shining faces than yesterday seems like desert teak has positively inspired our delightful townsfolk who knows how long until the whole of the three cities into desert teak street Today we will be showing the Summer Heat Swimwear Collection, the design inspired by our constant shining campaign. Now that our beloved town has solved the water crisis, it seems that it is a better time than ever to relax and take some time off in the shining blue water. It's still winter. Swimsuits are no longer the reserve of the free city's elite. No, now the common folk can enjoy the sun and day. So let's welcome our models back onto the stage. How the hell did he get some headphones? We have that kind of technology here? We're using a bloody telegram. I thought I saw X as well. Thank you everyone for watching the Summer Heat Collection. Again, if you wish to buy them, you can talk to me for orders. Everyone is welcome. I can assure you we will tailor for your needs. Trust me, you won't regret it. Of course, we want to make everything according to taste. What is fashion without personality? Any changes can be requested, and we're happy to oblige. We will have a complete design document available soon. It pains me to say that today is the final day of the Desert Teak Fashion Show. Thank you all for your support, and I hope you all become fans of our humble town. I have no words for how I feel. As I traveled, I always came back to San Juan. I knew, buried somewhere deep in the sand, that there was a spark of creativity there was something here to bring us into a new, more fashionable future. But don't worry, I won't stop giving you all the most wonderful haircuts, but I shall be providing you with the newest in high fashion. Thank you for coming and showing me support, everyone. Well, uh, there we go. So, what do you think? Tam did? I want to. Uh, sure. Thank you. I promise you won't be disappointed. Hey, fine. Hi. Uh, you were wearing a swimsuit. Hi. Everyone was waiting. 
I did not want to upset anyone. Seeing everyone so happy, I don't feel as uncomfortable. I think it is okay. Sometimes the show was fun. I haven't seen it. Get bucked so. on. Try bucked on. Ten goals a kilo. Wow, there's so many. Oh well, we're just gonna leave them at it, and then we are heading to bed. So we're gonna get the diagrams for the airship uh, tomorrow. We have a few days left before spring. So we might be done just when spring hits. And I hope we don't need to do any more ruin diving. We shouldn't need to do any more ruin diving. Oh shit. Oh. You made yourself out of the crib? Talk to us? Our own airship. Well, never thought I'd see the day. Here, take these hides. They're the best I've got. I thought my dream of running a shop was forever lost once I became a builder. But here we are. It's just like Moss said. Give your all every day so you can seize those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities when they come your way. If I hadn't worked hard as a builder, I wouldn't have the money to invest in Nia's idea. And I wouldn't be a shop owner now. How are things on your end? The aerial multi-purpose gray is just about ready to go. Things are going well. So well, in fact, that I managed to snag these to help you out on your end. Here. Well, I haven't even started yet. I'm waiting for my diagrams. Here, your task. I've heard this will help if you get tired. So, they've commissioned you to make an airship. That would be a daunting task to most, but I believe their confidence is not misplaced. You've exceeded everything ever expected of you. Will this help at all? You wanna go for a walk? Well, we have nothing else to do, so Theorist, we may as well. I'd like to go for a walk. Theorist, thank you. Well, we, we should maybe also check over here first. We might have some new ones. Uh, we have one yellow though. Why does she want steel? Another steel brace. I don't get it. Anything from Trudy? No? Well, we can hand these in while well, at it. I don't want to hand that in. I don't want to hand that in. I only have two of that. Nah, that's kind of easy to make two, but no rush. Coffee is easy. Tea leaves are easy. Shit. Oh well, never mind. We grabbed some easy ones. Ban you? What the hell, Ban you? We got two Santa Cuda from Ban you to help us with the airship. Well, okay. Jensen. Ho, ho, ho! I've heard. You better believe I've heard. Oh, yes. The airship. Train of the sky, some call it. <laughs> I've never been more proud to live in this town. Uh, here you are. I hope this helps. Five iron ore? How will five iron ore help me? That's like two ingots only. Oh, damn. There's a lot of them who talk to us. Okay, I'm okay. We got five thousand gold. Bars on bars to get that air. Chromium bars, okay. Hey, uh, me and Crystal heard about that six star commission. So. Five sink water. Do you have water? I can think of nothing. Fifty water. We got okay. Burgess actually came to the, the rescue. Details of what may have occurred between those two events has since been. Although we don't need it, we have like hundreds of it. I think I overdid it, so we are now like. Uh, well, we have too much of it. Y'all are building an airship? Oop. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, well, we got uh, five Jackamel milk. Howdy do, ne horse mug. Let's just finish the walk first since we have that done. So she's happy. It would be kind of sad if she if we ignore Amira and then suddenly she's worse so us close to spring. anything in Katori world, which is a bit weird. Dearest, ah, the unique romance of day-to-day -day life. I wouldn't have it any other way, would you? Right, we're gonna leave her there. We're gonna get rid of you. Go home. Be ashamed. Now that you're uh, number two now. That's right. Off you go. Heard about the airship. Think I could take the critters for a ride? From the engine. I don't think they will give us anything that will be of use, I'm afraid. I assume I'm going to need a top-of-the-line uh, materials to uh, build airship. Not uh, this uh, stuff we are getting. A couple of ingots and such. It's not going to be doing much good. Or, or even... We should have everything for it, though. I mean, we have stockpiled so much. Things are all sorted. Uh, perfume apple? What am I gonna do with a perfume apple? Oh. I can salvage this. Huh, I didn't know. next time so long partner is it too late to throw my head into the rain on the whole air resurrection herbs such it thank you I've always said make I got a facial cream for that. Alright. Well, we are done with the commissions. We have been with Amira. We don't have any diagrams. Let's go to bed. We're gonna be skipping the event at the end of the year. There's no rush for that. 
your child's stomach is upset. Oh. But uh, Amira will just teleport to it. No, oh, maybe not. Right, you stay there. I'm going to uh, build an airship. Did you rest well last night? No time. We need to see if we go to diagrams. Okay. Oh. What do you have? Rib meat. And there it is. Advanced airship. So we got front engine, aft engine, and body. And in any case, we don't get a chance to build anything all together like this again anytime soon. It's been an absolute pleasure creating with you. And there uh, we got some relics too. Fair enough. Calendar. Uh, Seek's birthday, but yeah, we missed everybody's birthday anyway. So, uh, let's do it then, I guess. This will be our okay yeah i see no oh no yeah we don't have enough i will begin with the aft engine i think so we need four uh, bronze blades i'm not making that there i'm making that here am i Okay. According to this, I need six. So we need 12 or 11 copper gear, but we will make 12. We might pick up some uh, tool or uh, well, some chests in the ruins. did but it didn't give us what we want okay poplar wooden board four of them well that's that, but that's easy to get the nano coating and the nano tube however nano tubes should be here Then we now need some more of that. Hmm. Aluminum alloy plate. That. So we need nano waste, and uh, do I have any nano waste? Do I? I have none. Okay. Well, um, hmm. The salvage company might have some in the yard, but I think I need to rearrange the contract as well. Oh yeah, since uh, oh, oh that's true actually. The contract will uh, will end now at the beginning of the year. Uh, crystal. Hey ya. Titanium ore. Uh, rare scrap. Yeah, okay. So uh, we want to uh, get rid of this one. And I think we're going to get rid of this one too. And push everything into that. And like that. Like that. Maybe that will save us some time. And let's see if we... Oh, it's it's empty. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we have any nano waste here. I don't think any of these are nano waste. No, 
no, I don't think we have any nano waste around here. We need four high speed motors. And then we need another four high speed. No, we need two high speed motors more. So we need six in total. That is something we need. So let's go make that. We'll find that more or less. One high speed motor. Need one more. We got a toolbox. And another one. How much XP all this will give us? We got over 30,000 now, so I think I it's calculated. Must be over 50,000 then just by mining dirt. And that's not even all of that. Okay. 
Okay, so, um... Maybe around 20%. Okay, Daniel, you sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow. Reset that. See one third. So we just need um, but we need one more trips down there.
Okay, we need w one more, maybe. We can definitely manage to get to 55 tonight. Jump in again. That would be faster.